Let's talk about how to add YouTube videos to Articulate content. First, it's super easy, and it works in Storyline, Presenter, and Quizmaker, and the videos work in Flash, HTML5, and the Articulate mobile player. And all you need is the 11 character video ID for the video you want to add to your content. So how do you find that? Well, you'll go over to youtube.com and locate the video you want to use, and then you want to look at the address bar or the URL for that video. And you want to copy the 11 characters that follow V equals. So you might think of V as in video equals, and then copy that 11 character ID. So once you have that, you'll jump over to your authoring app, which could be Storyline, which I'm using here, or Presenter or Quizmaker. Works the same way in all three apps. And we're going to add a web object to hold that YouTube video. So I'm going to come up to the Insert tab on the ribbon and click Web Object. Then we just need to add a URL for that video to the address field and click OK. But before we do that, I want to jump back to the whiteboard so it's easier to see the format of the URL. And we're going to look at two formats. We'll call them basic URL and then a modified URL, which allows you to add some optional parameters that modify the behavior of your video a little bit. But every YouTube video that you add to your content is going to have the same basic URL, which is www.youtube.com slash embed slash and then your 11 character video ID. And that's it. I told you it was super simple and it really is. So we'll jump back over to Storyline and we'll enter that URL into the address field. www.youtube.com slash embed slash and then paste in our video ID and click OK. And then we might want to resize the web object placeholder a little bit and rearrange it on our slide and we'll call that good and then we'll publish and we're good to go. But let's say you want to modify that the behavior of that video just a little bit. Well you can do that with some optional parameters. So we'll call this the modified URL and it starts out the same way as before with the same basic URL structure www.youtube.com slash embed slash your video ID and then add a question mark to indicate that you have one or more parameters that you want to add to the video and then you'll add a parameter and you can stop there if you want if you have more than one parameter just make sure that you separate them with an ampersand so ampersand parameter 2 ampersand parameter 3 and so on so what are these parameters what can they do well, we'll look at a couple of examples here, and a common one is the suggested videos at the end of each YouTube video. So you know how when you're watching a video and you get to the end, YouTube likes to show you several other videos that you might want to watch. Uh, and that's great, but you might not want your learners to see those while they're taking a course because you don't want them to get off track or get distracted in the middle of a course. So you can hide those related videos with a parameter. So it would look like this. We'll come back to our basic URL, add a question mark to indicate that we have a parameter, and then add the parameter rel equals zero. So you might think of rel as in related videos equals zero, meaning we want to turn them off. <laughs> And if, you, if that's all you wanted to do, you could stop there, add that to your course, and you're good to go. But we'll add one more in this example. Uh, another example would be uh, every YouTube video has a title bar where the title of the video displays and maybe the owner's name. And maybe you want to turn that off in your course. Well, you can do that too with an optional parameter. So we'll come back to the URL that we're building. And since we already have one parameter, we need to add an ampersand. And then our second parameter is show info equals zero. So we're turning off the info. Now these two parameters, related videos and show info, 
Uh, both work in Flash, HTML5, and the Articulate mobile player. And then there are several more that also work in all three formats. And then there are even more parameters that work only in Flash. So we have cataloged all of those for you, so make sure you check out our knowledge base articles on adding YouTube videos to your content. And you can see all of the optional parameters, what they are, what they do, and in which formats they work. So with this modified URL in mind, we're going to jump back over to our Storyline course and we're going to modify our web object placeholder. So we'll right click it, scroll to web object, click edit, and now we'll just add a question mark to the end of our URL indicating that we're going to add parameters. And the first one is rel equals zero to turn off the related videos and then an ampersand and show info equals zero to turn off the title bar. We'll click OK and we're done. We can publish and we're good to go. So it's as easy as that to add a YouTube video to your Articulate content and even modify it with some optional parameters.